I'm Felix Weaver, I'm the owner of Ag Business and Crop and I have a new technology to present here which uh, is a little airplane, it's a drone called a drone. And we're flying with this over farmers fields to scout the fields. The idea is I am have the private license, a pilot license and uh, I've noticed that you, or we all know that you can see things from the air better than you can see it from the ground. Patterns and, and differences in the field can be seen way better from the air. It's very light, it's easy to fly, it, uh, it's very easy to control, it's controlled by the computer and it has two camera options. The one is the normal RGB camera and the other one is the NIR camera. And I'll fly over the field and make images the images are stored on the camera and the log file is stored on the computer. When I come down, I stitch the information together and make a, a full field image. We're using this as a crop scouting tool. So in other words, when the, if there is a stress to the plant, the image, the NIR camera will be detecting that before we necessarily can see this ourselves by eye. So we're a little bit ahead of the game here being able to see things. Uh, it, this is a tool just like any other tool in, in, in the toolbox and if we make images over the field and walk the, the, the field afterwards based on the information that we get, like this is an NIR image, we can see the differences in the field and we walk this field afterwards based on the extreme spots we can identify the level of damage or the level of stress and identify zones where we need to do something to the field. So that gives us the option to make a decision of if we want to spray this field or we want to treat this field. And it gives us the option to treat this field based on zones. So now we have a percentage of the field and we also can make an NDV, uh, a map, an application map, to treat this field based on that information. I pre-planned the flight on my software. As soon as I pre-planned the, so uh, the, the flight, the, the information is stored onto the plane itself. It has a little computer in here, and uh, w as soon as I start this, like basically I'm, 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 uh, I'm shaking the plane to, to get it started and it flies up and it flies that route on its own. The images are being taken on, on an overlap, so if it doesn't matter how fast I'm flying. The, the plane flies about 35 kilometers, but it's, if I have headwind or tailwind, it's going to be overlapping the images based on my pre-programmed -pro flight. If anything goes wrong, say we have too much wind, the battery goes low, or anything goes in this flight, the flight will go, the plane will go home to the home bay point and it will land on its own on a 30 radius circle. The home bay point is a point where I started my plane. I originally launched my plane. That's my home bay point automatically. So when I go out, I choose a home bay point that is great to land, that gives me enough space to land. Those are kind of image, example images of how much area I can actually cover. So if I fly 900 meters above ground, we can, we can uh, cover approximately uh, where is it, 8 square kilometers with one flight because we got about 30 minutes, approximately 30 minutes flight time. So depending if I got ground control points, I, that gives me an accuracy of 1.3 meters. Uh, if, if I don't use ground control, uh, control points, it's 8 meters. If I only fly 130 meters, I can cover high elevation, altitude, I can cover about one square kilometer, the accuracy five centimeters per pixel and my georeference accuracy is two meters or with georeference points it's six centimeters accuracy. That's way too accurate in most cases for agriculture. This is more designed for engineers and so on but because we got the accuracy you know we can always reduce it but we got the accuracy at the first place. 
The way this, uh, this works is it stores the image on the camera itself and there is a log file on the computer. After I download the images, there's lots of images, but they are GS, a GPS referenced. After I download them, there's a software that download, uh, when I download and then GPS reference them. I can make, produce a 3D image out of that and make with another software an NDVI image. The process can take, depending on your software, and the software is, uh, basically gives me their accuracy, so the more precise software I have, the more precise image I, I get. But, but depending on the software I'm using, it can take anywhere from a half an hour to two hours to, pr to actually produce the image. And if you need more information, the, um, on my website, agbusiness.ca, uh, there, is, there is some more information about the Swengler Cam, uh, or you can call me at, at, my, at my office. 519-343-5454 and I, I'd be glad to talk to you.